All right. Your current situation and the bottom of the deck. We have the magician and the six of swords. Looks like you're hell-bent on making something happening, okay? You're manifesting something here. You're in full-blown manifestation mode right now. And you're very, very determined, is what I'm getting, to move forward. More than move forward, I'm getting you're very, very determined to make something happen, okay? And whatever you're wanting to make happen, it could include traveling. It could include distancing yourself from shit-talkers, distancing yourself from a relationship that is not working out with you. Uh, or uh, it could just be getting into calmer waters, okay? That's what I'm getting as your overall energy and your current situation. What is influencing or blocking the situation is forward movement. So maybe you're in football manifestation mode, but maybe somewhere, somehow, um, communication could be missing, okay? Forward movement is missing, all right? Why? Because on your mind, we have the six of wands in reverse over inflated egos and a lot of um arrogance you could be arrogant they could be arrogant but something's not moving forward and on your mind there is a lack of forward movement okay something's not moving forward and it's um, almost like something is a failure okay i feel like a sense of a lack of success is what i'm getting okay so you're probably not feeling that the situation is getting anywhere okay and that is your biggest challenge here, to push this forward, to manifest, to take action, okay? Look, manifestation works, but it's not like, okay, you're thinking, manifesting, manifesting. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Your intentions are amazing. Your intentions are awesome, pure, clear, okay? But till you don't put it into action, even if you have to communicate with people, communication is key, action is key, okay? Till you're not going to put it into action, the ball's not going to get rolling, all right? So probably you are the other person. Someone wants to make something right. Someone wants to make something uh, happen, okay? But on the other um, and on, on the other person's mind, something's just not falling in place, okay? Something's just lacking success, victory, okay? Either you are not getting uh, enough public recognition, you want to take things to the high level of commitment, or you want to move forward with someone, or that person is just not communicating with you. But there is a hitch here, all right? And manifestation is just not working. I mean, what I mean is that's not the only thing that's going to help you here, okay? Eight of Wands is communication, by the way, okay? It is forward moment, quick forward moment, okay? So it could be maybe you want things too quickly, all right? Or the blockage is communication, all right? See, the reason for the reading is that something's a missed opportunity, okay? Or you feel that someone got away. Someone you thought you had a lot of potential with and there's someone who got away, okay? You've missed an opportunity with someone. I'm sorry, my hair looks crazy today. I don't know what's happening. But please forgive me. Do not pass any nasty comments. But um, the reason for the reading is that I feel that because things are not moving forward, right? Maybe you're in your zone. You're completely in your ego. And this person is wanting to manifest, but they're not taking action, okay? So you both are, I feel like, at a stalemate, okay? And because of that, there's a missed opportunity here, is what I'm getting. In the past, you had, you're holding a grudge against someone, okay? Either they're holding a grudge against you, you're holding a grudge against them, okay? But someone had a lot of grudges against you, or there was just nostalgia about bad memories, okay? Someone was clinging on to the past focusing on all the negative aspects of what happened within the relationship, okay? They're not ready to look at the best memories or what good can happen or what was good in the relationship, okay? So this is a lot of focus on the negativity rather than focusing on the good parts of the relationship, okay? However, in the next few weeks, I feel that you're going to be very secure, very confident, okay? This is someone who realizes their self-worth, realizes their value, okay? This is someone very secure, very confident, financially independent, at the same time, this is someone who realizes, you know what, that they're okay to be on their own, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's okay to be on their own, okay? They don't compulsorily want to be in a relationship, okay? They're not codependent. They're not dependent on anyone. They're living their best life right now, okay? And um, someone's closed off emotionally, okay? Either there is jealousy here, okay? Or there's just a lot of emotional manipulation going on. Someone's not ready to open up. Someone's just not ready to open up. And probably that is why, that is one of the biggest blockages, that they're not ready to open up, they're not ready to communicate. And one person wants to communicate. So it's like we have like 
the clash of energies here. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and we have the Knight of Wands here, okay? So one person is super passionate, wanting to rush in, okay? Wanting to rush in to communicate, wanting to rush in uh, to move things forward, okay? This is someone who lives in the moment, all right? Could be dealing with someone who is non-committal because these people don't like to be tied down, okay? They don't like to be confined. And you, on the other hand, are uh, very emotionally closed off. Probably you want to manifest this, okay? You want this relationship, but maybe you think that this person is not giving you that public recognition that you're wanting, okay? And that's why there's a lack of forward moment here. Maybe this person could have done something in the past which left a bad taste in your mouth, all right? And ultimately, it's almost like um, you're getting over that feeling of rejection, okay? You're getting over it. You're in your arrogance and you're in your ego and that person is wanting to come in, but... Um, I think you realize your value here. You're like, you know what, now nah, I'm good. If it is a missed opportunity, it is what it is, is what I'm getting, okay? You're letting something be a missed opportunity. That's why even if you want to make things happen, you're not moving forward because you're very egoistic right now. Your ego stuck in your ass right now. Whoever this is for, don't take me wrong, but you're closed off right now. You're emotionally manipulating this person. What I'm getting is that you are... This is like a controlling tactic, controlling tactic, sorry. This is how you're trying to handle the situation. You want this person, you want to make this happen with this person, but you're in your ego. You're not communicating and that's one of your, and you're not showing up emotionally. You're not opening up emotionally. So you're trying to manipulate the situation like this. And on the other hand, this person is very, very uh, passionate about you. They want to come in. But your problem is that whatever the situation is, right, the situation is not getting to a point of stability, security, okay? There is no stability within the situation or this person. This person, like I said, right, this person could be someone who wants to be single, okay? Or this person is just someone who likes to live in the moment, okay? They come and go, they come and go, okay? Like I said, player like tendencies, but I don't think this is a player like person. But this could definitely be someone who's just not into the commitment zone right now, okay? And you're wanting something stable, something committed, okay? You want to take this to a high level of commitment. You want public recognition. You want to get this out in the open, okay? And this person is clearly not interested in that. So your controlling tactic is to hold back communication. At the same time, you're manifesting it. Okay. Um... But because of that, things are going to be incomplete, okay? Either I feel that I don't see anyone cutting the other person off, but very likely chances that things are still going to be stuck and stagnant, okay? Why I'm getting is because you're probably not learning your lessons, okay? This could be anyone, Virgo. This could be you not learning your lessons, or this could be them not learning the lessons. Take the energies how it resonates, okay? But I'm feeling that there is... Someone is very, very egoistic here, okay? And they're trying to hold back. They're trying to hold back communication and that's their technique, their way of being emotionally manipulative, okay? To get this person to come in and to commit to them. Whatever you guys are trying to do, okay? You're dealing with the Knight of Wands here. You're dealing with a Knight here. You're a Knight too. It's just that you're more emotional and this person's more passionate, okay? One person definitely wants to be single, okay? More than single, this is just someone who's very independent, okay? Someone who realizes their worth value. So either you're realizing your worth, okay, and your value, and you're like, you know what, I'm going to get this person to come in. You're drawing this person by this manipulation, or because this person is wanting to be single, right? It's pissing you off, okay? I'm getting more like, you know what, you're not communicating with this person. You realize your value. But at the same time, you want to manifest this, okay? But you're not moving forward. Because your ego is stuck in your ass. And the reason is that both of you are at a stalemate and now it's a missed opportunity. But the likely outcome still, there is going to be unfinished business between you guys, okay? So there is a lack of closure here if you're wanting to get rid of this person or if you're trying to break up. Regardless, something's still going to be stuck and stagnant, okay? So you're not budging, they're not budging. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.